Jason, you said when we spoke recently that, that your imprisonment marked the end of one chapter in your life and the beginning of another. You're still a journalist, but tell me how this imprisonment changed you as a journalist. What do you First do? of all, it's a wonderful and important question that I've been grappling with for, for years. You know, there is uh, the life that we lived before and the life that we've lived since. And a lot of that uh, change has been in how I look at issues around press freedom. But also, when we hear about an individual who is arrested in another country, how those circumstances are described. Personally, now, I take a much more um, serious and specialized concern in how we present the facts or the so-called facts of a case. Oftentimes when you read about uh, an American being arrested or abroad on these sorts of spurious charges, the headline will read essentially American arrested and charged with espionage. Well, that's not really the story. The story is American taken because they're American and they're being held hostage. And the cover story is that they, they are being charged with espionage. In none of these cases that, that we've spoken about uh, in our conversation until this point and so many others, is there any evidence of any wrongdoing by the person that's being held? So the presumption of innocence, which is at the core, uh, a, a pillar of our judicial system, is something that these individuals are not being afforded in the countries where they're being held. So my inclination is to always uh, afford that to them when we write about them in, in our newspaper. And I, I think we're making a real dent in how these stories are covered. There was an, uh, a, um, uh, a headline in the New York Times uh, following Evans' conviction uh, last week that indicated that, that, the, that the trial was farcical. And I thought that that was a major step forward because I've, t I've spoken with, with other reporters and editors for years trying to get them to infuse the headline specifically. Uh, with with language that indicates that we know that the, char the charges are false, uh, and to see that coming to fruition uh, mm -hmm. in the pages of, of you know our, our most important newspapers is gratifying because uh, you know for a long time it felt as though our industry was doing uh, a disservice to to people like me, people like Evan, people like Alsu, Brittany Griner, and so many others. 